Namaste Dosto. I owe South India a big long trip there, I know. And while I can't come to India at the moment, I've been going to places near India, places in India where I feel like I'm back at home actually. So I was just in Nepal and it felt really, really good to be there and to be able to understand some of the language at least. And now I'm on my way to Jaffna in Sri Lanka because I heard it has a really, really strong Tamil influence there. So let's go to Jaffna. Let's see what life is like there. And let's see if I feel at home there. The very first thing that I noticed about Sri Lanka is they like their tea very, very sweet. Just like my home in Haryana in India. Now Jaffna. You would have heard of Jaffna before. In the news, it is, was the home to the epicenter of the Sri Lankan civil war. It was very long and very bloody. And so I'm sure a lot of foreigners would not even think about traveling to Jaffna, right? So let's see, is it safe now for foreigners? to travel to because the civil war has ended over 10 years ago. But this part of Sri Lanka hasn't actually been open for tourists for that long. Jaffna is predominantly a Tamil speaking area with a strong Hindu culture. So very much like the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. So I'm really looking forward to experiencing that Tamil culture outside of India here in Sri Lanka. Welcome to Jaffna. We are 400 kilometers from Colombo. Took about seven hours to get here. And we're in the very, very north of Sri Lanka, the very north. India is about 30 kilometers across the Polk straight from here. Now I'm just gonna go to the hotel, rent a scooter, and then we are gonna go and explore Jaffna. One good thing you find at railway stations is this tourist information center. The people in here are really helpful and I think it's run by the Sri Lankan government. They've got this at the Colombo station too. They even help you book your tickets. All right, I made it to the hotel. I thought I should give you my first impressions. Straight away I noticed, the first thing I noticed was that Jaffna is clean. It's very green. A lot of people are riding on bicycles around here. Dogs are not happy with me. And yeah, that, that was my first impression, clean and green. And tropical, obviously, it's very, very warm here. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it straight away. It's a very kind of, you get the small town vibe, right? The small town tropical vibe. I'm digging it. Before we hit the road on the Scooty, I spent a lot of time with the food here and while there is a little South Indian influence in the food, Jaffna definitely has some unique food. Let's start with this dosa from Mangoes and oh my god, it is stuffed with Chinese vegetable mixture, cream cheese and it's drowned in ghee. It is deadly. I found the best ice cream at Rio's. This is their special hard shell hazelnut ice cream. Now Jaffna across Sri Lanka is known for two things. First, their crab curry. And secondly, their mutton curry. Do not leave without trying these. I also found a great dessert here. This is Palmyra palm treacle with yogurt. It's kind of like their version of maple syrup. There's a lot of other small things that I really like too. All over town you've got streetcars selling fried fish, fried prawns, 
There's bakeries everywhere where you can get these yummy fish and chicken buns. And I love that there's coconuts everywhere too. It is like heaven. Overall, I didn't have a bad meal and that's saying something because you guys know how harsh of a food critic I am. Now I need to go and sort out a scooter and then we'll hit the city. Wait until you see what's over here. This is the first place that we're going to in Jaffna. This is the Nalu Kandaswami temple. And this temple is dedicated to Lord Murugan, the god of love, war, and beauty. And while I was riding here, this place gives me the vibe of Lakshadweep. This place gives me the vibe of some kind of small temple town in India. Lakshadweep because it's so tropical. Temple town because there's donkeys everywhere, there's cows everywhere, there are so many temples. This temple is on Temple Road. And there's one unique thing about this temple that we're gonna go into. Men have to take off their shirts. Men have to be topless inside. I have not seen that in India before, and this is this is the first for me going topless in a temple. That's also the first time that I've seen a clock installed in the front part of the temple. So I couldn't take you in because there's no cameras allowed inside, but the way it looks gold from the outside, it's completely covered in gold. And the inside is really beautiful. You should definitely come here. Just walking through the main part of Jaffna city and this is where you'll find all the markets, the bus station, so many rickshaws. There's a fruit market, there was a capre market, there was a book market. And let's see what else we can find around here. I want to buy some coconuts. It's trying to get hit by a bus though. All right, I found the mobile market, I found the gold market. Okay, everything is just in this little area. And then you have all this, this artwork along the streets here. It's really cool. On all the sides, we've got a lot of Hindu gods painted on the walls. And then all the sites of Jaffna, clock tower. This entire lane here is full of tailors as well. Man, you can get absolutely everything here in the center of Jaffna. And the one great thing here in Jaffna is that the rickshaw drivers, they don't hassle you, they don't come up to you. Not like Colombo where they hassle you all day long. Here it's far more relaxed and chilled out and you can walk around peacefully without being disturbed by anybody. If there are any people that will come up to you, it's people saying, hello, how are you, where are you from? Banakam. It's nice, like this guy. <laughs> how are you, sir? What's your name? My name is Ibala. Ibala? Ibala, I come from Yakna, Sri Lanka. Kongudi, Yakna, Sri Lanka. Very nice. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Bye, bye. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, people are, people are kind and, and cute around here. I'm sitting and I'm just walking around Jaffna Fort at the moment. It's pretty here. 
And speaking of safety, from everything I read online, I kind of... Hi, wanna come? Wanna come, selfie? Selfie, yeah, we can take a selfie. Hang on, one sec, one sec. Sweet people. They wanted a selfie with a foreigner. I don't think they get many foreigners here in Jaffna. Not too many, because those guys are locals. And I was gonna speak about safety here, and from everything I read online, I expected the military to be running this place. From all the news reports and the blogs that I read, they said there's tons of military everywhere. I've seen some empty army trucks going around, but that's it. There's, I haven't seen any military on the streets. This, however, changed drastically a few days later when the Chinese ambassador arrived. Suddenly, every single street corner had armed forces stationed on them, and I wondered who was in town, and I didn't find out until I saw it in the media. It didn't affect my trip, but I know it might worry a lot of foreign tourists who aren't used to seeing military, or who just don't like being around it. Safety-wise as well, like, no problems, I feel totally safe here. I've had absolutely no issues on the streets of Jaffna today. And my hotel guy Raj is so helpful and accommodating. I'm only the third tourist that he's had this year. So there's not a lot of tourists traveling at the moment as well, that's the other thing. But just look at this place. Right on the edge of Sri Lanka. Now next, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. I'm gonna take you out somewhere called I won't tell you what it is called, I'll just take you. It is the most northern point of Sri Lanka. And you guys should all visit as well. Whoa. Some big waves man, some really big waves.